want to do it because I'm absolutely exhausted and it's been a really busy day. But I gotta go outside and finish cleaning up the yard and winterizing because it's freaking cold. Okay, so I got this bin just outside my back door. I really hope my compost has, you know, gone down a bit, turned into dirt, compacted. Because it's not even winter yet and this thing is almost full. So that I have to take down to the compost, which is over there. And so that'll be task number one. Hello little ladybug. I'm surprised you're still going. So I've emptied the rain barrels once already and I left this open. So well you should leave those open anytime you are closing up for the winter. We've had a few rain rain and snows, so my little heavy bucket and uh, since I close this I'm going to open it all the way back up. We're going to tip this. And get as much of the water out as possible and we're going to water some of the perennials. The more water you can get out the better. You don't want it to freeze. There will always be some stuck in the bottom, but I don't want too much. Thought I hit record, but apparently not. But I cleaned up the furniture, and I took the umbrella, and I put it under the top part of the deck there for the winter. It gets pretty windy around here, so I hook my little compost bin to the deck. Otherwise it'd be gone. Hey, a few more notes on winterizing. So if you have an irrigation system, you're gonna have to disconnect that, blow some water, water through it. <laughs> you wanna get the water out, so you're gonna blow some air through it. Check your user manual, all the specs on all your hoses before you do so. Um, if you just hook an air compressor up and say it's at 90 psi and your max is 30 for your hoses you're going to blow something which is an expensive repair especially if it's underground so double check before you do any of that stuff um, your garden hoses make sure they're disconnected from the house or wherever they're connected um, like all the connections so if you have a box like a wind-up box make sure that it's disconnected inside as well. Stretch out the hoses, get as much water out of them as possible. And then um, 
you can wrap them back up. Um, if possible, store them somewhere where they're not going to get any sun. Um, if that's not possible, you can hang them back up, but do not connect them back to the faucet. If you are in a house that does not have frost-free faucets, make sure you turn off your water to outside and bleed the line and leave the tap outside open. That's only if you don't have the frost-free faucets. If you have frost-free faucets, you can just close them and it should be okay. Unless there's a hose on it. But in that one the hard way. So that's winterizing. Um, there's a bit of a debate between whether you should pick up your leaves or not that fall off the trees. Um, I think it depends on climate. Like, leaving them for the bugs is good, but if you have snow and wet, you're gonna get snow mold in the spring. And if you remove the leaves in the fall, you don't get as bad of snow mold. You'll still get some, but it's not as bad. There's not as much stuff for it to grow on. So, I would do a pickup of some of the leaves, maybe not all of them, maybe not a really good job. It also depends on the trees. This year, all the leaves fell off before we got permanent snow. We've been cold for about a month now. And so all the leaves fell off. Last year, the tree still had leaves on it. All the leaves were still on it. And we had snow that was not going away. So last year I couldn't. This year I picked up a chunk of them. Not all of them, just the front yard, not the back. And that's where I'm going to leave it. My, both my rain barrels are as empty as they're going to get at this point. And I left the faucet, the tap on it open. And I'm just going to leave them there all winter with the tap open. Hopefully there is not a lot of expansion. Then it doesn't wreck the rain barrel. I guess we'll find out in the spring. Should, hopefully hopefully be okay. Uh, my furniture is put to the side or put away because we get a lot of wet heavy snow and we do not want things to break. So least amount of surface area as possible. I think I'm done winterizing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.